Oh, he's still at it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a kid's homework. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, it, no, it was good. It was good and bad. And, uh, you know, the, the, the one thing that you saw at the small floor, the area, you saw some production from Ebanks. And, uh, you know, I know what I'm going to get from Meta, okay? Uh, but I saw production from Ebanks. I saw production from Matt Barnes. Uh, in terms of the shooting column, uh, I just need to keep seeing production when it comes to getting getting rebounds and loose balls and uh, stuff like that from that area. Uh, you know, Kobe's Kobe. Uh, our bigs, I was pleased with the way that our bigs, for the most part, ran the floor. Uh, I thought we were poor in defensive transition. Uh, and, you know, we showed the guys. Uh, I thought our pick and roll coverage was, was pretty good at times. Um, you know, I, I, for, for where we are right now, after you know, six, seven days, uh, I feel pretty good about where we are, knowing that you know, hey, this thing uh, is coming up here relatively quick. So. How do they go about mitigating just the things you saw as far as how they executed on defensive transition? No, no, no. We, 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 sh we saw it on tape, and yeah. we, we ran it back. Each one, you know, each clip that we felt that we need to get better at, we, we ran each clip back a, a few different times so that they can really see uh, where we were hurting or where we were lacking in that area. And, you know, and now it's up to us to continue coaching the team. And what I mean by that is, uh, you know, we, we, were, we were thinking about practicing today or having contact today, but these guys have worked their tail off, and, right. and I can't, you know, I can't get them right in – in a matter of two weeks time you know we're, we're, we're going to still have to do our job which is the coach you know throughout the season and we'll have to get better one day at a time so uh, that's why we gave him the day off but uh, you know our next practice which is tomorrow we, we will have a uh, at least one defensive transition drill if not more than one. Mike how's, Mike, how's your depth this season? I mean do you have eight guys that can get be in the rotation 10, 12? Where, where do you see I, I, that's a good question. I, I like our depth you know and right now it's not solidified yet but you know uh, I, I feel good about um, every position that we have and and the guys that uh, are playing, you know, to be playing off the bench in those positions. So uh, I'm excited about seeing what this team will be able to do in a, in a week's, week and a half time or on the 25th of December uh, when it counts for real. Mike, like, a week, from tomorrow, tomorrow. week from tomorrow, you guys do it for real. Right. How do you think the, the whole plan is coming into focus from your standpoint? I, I'm excited about where we are right now. Um, you know, because there are a lot of positives. Obviously, there are some negatives that we still have to clean up too. But uh, the guys are making progress the right way, and more important, they're giving effort. And so, uh, if you have an intelligent team that gives effort, uh, and they continue to get better little by little, then you know, to, for me to try to force the issue or rush the issue uh, would not be smart. I think uh, you know, before training camp began, you know. I was thinking, man, I, I don't have enough days. I don't have enough days, so you know, I'm going to utilize two a days. I'm going to utilize two a days, and I, I, you know, I got to be careful utilizing two a days because you know they might learn a lot, but I, or I also can end up breaking them down in, in a short amount of time too because they're, they're elite humans. Or but but you know, there is a point to where enough is enough, and their bodies need rest. Would you be any further along if there weren't all these? massive distractions that are going on? No, I, I don't think so. And the reason I say that is you can ask to a man, this is just my opinion because I haven't asked the guys, but you can ask to a man uh, if when our guys cross that line come practice time, if anybody realized or showed any side effects from you know the possible trades or possible this or possible that, I don't think anybody would say that they even realize anything else was going on besides what we have here as a team and what we're about to do on the court during practice. So, you know, unless guys are able to, you know, hide their emotions or hide their true feelings and still work and all that, can't can't tell. How many double sessions have you done so far? Two. Uh, I think I think two. I think we've done two. I know one for sure. I'm not. I think maybe two double sessions. Yeah.